Hey guys, I'm going to show you my six favorite knives. And this is the one that got it started for me. Open out. This one's the number nine in carbon steel. My first open out was a number eight in carbon steel. But these are just great little knives. Somebody said they're like um, the folding Mora. And I think they're, they're cheap. They're pretty reliable, easy to sharpen, and if you break one, you just buy another one. I have about five or six of these, and well, for me, it's the number nine that does it, fills my hand perfectly. Um, for some people, it might be the number eight or the number ten, I don't know. But if you don't have one of these, I suggest you go get one, because they're great. My ADC knife. Is the Ontario wrap one folder. And once again, if you like medium folders, if you don't mind the weight, it's five ounces or so, it's not a lot. Go get yourself one of these. They are great. They are great. I'm sure you can find a lot of reviews on it. And if you want to modify yours, well, Kali Harris has like three great videos on that go watch it and, and you'll convince yourself that this guy is worth the money I got another one so I, I'm beating the crap out of this one it hasn't failed yet so the next uh, little knife is the Spydeco Delica 4 and this is a great EDC whenever I don't have my right one with me I take this one this is VG10 steel, and VG10 steel is awesome. It's just awesome. It's very comfortable. It's not as hard to use as the Brad one, but then again, these are folders. But as an EDC, I can't recommend a better knife. Really, I mean, I don't own those high-end folding knives, but this is this is very. I I can't imagine a, a better EDC for anybody small, compact, light, uh, has nested liners that gives it a bit weight so it doesn't feel in, like a toy in your hand. It's, I can't say enough good things about this knife. So once again, if you want a spider go, that won't disappoint you. You might want to look into this one. Here's my um, Red Cutlery Zula. And once again, if you don't have this knife, go get it. Better yet, maybe you get the Azula 2. That one has a slightly larger handle, but it's all the same. You're going to have to get the slabs or wrap it in paracord. I double wrapped it, and it's very comfortable. It's 1095 steel, and this one also is a pleasure to work with. Yeah, well, a very reliable little knife. I especially like the warranty they have. Um, check it out, I'm sure you can find this in a lot of videos. I mean, that's how I got my knives. This one's one I recently got. This is the um, F1 from Falcon Even. This is also VG10 laminated. It's, um, it's a great knife. I got it as a little brother for the Bravo 1. Stainless little brother. And all I had to do was um, put a zero convex on the blade because it came with a micro V edge. Other than that, I'm super pleased with it. Um, the lanyard hole could have been a little lower, but that's fine. I don't use it for that heavy test that I need a lanyard. And if I put one, it doesn't really bother me. So, yeah, once again, if you want to try out a nice knife, you won't be sorry you picked this one and the last one I'm going to show you is well my favorite this is the Bark River Bravo one and this is a uh, this is a a great knife and if you take this ramp off this becomes a great tool just just a great tool I'm never going to take this ramp off unless I get another one but 
then again, this is my first Bark River knife, and I love it. It's carry sharp edge. I'm not a master sharpener, but it's very easy to get a very sharp edge on this one. So, yeah. I'm going to leave you with this one. These are my six favorite knives. What are yours?